A new law pertaining to international fire and building codes will be put into place on Guam starting July 1st. Businessman Al Israel says although the legislature adopted and enacted these new codes into law, some of them wouldn't apply to Guam. According to the new law, every home on Guam will have to have a sprinkler system installed into their existing home. This could cost every homeowner an additional $16,000 to $20,000. Because you not only need a two-inch water line, but you also need a reservoir and pumps for the reservoir. And on top of that, a monitoring system. That means another telephone line to a station that will monitor the fire for you on a 24-hour basis. Israel says this is what happens when the legislature enacts on a good idea in its entirety instead of choosing and picking the items that would apply to a tropical island. I would even dare venture a bet that not even any of the legislative members have read this code or even had the chance to see it. Israel says there would be no grandfather clause, and this is contrary to existing Guam law, which provides for grandfathering existing and approved buildings. According to Israel, we have the best codes in the world. If our laws need to be modified, then let's upgrade them. Our concrete buildings can withstand 200 miles an hour wind. No other community in the world can, do, can say that. Our buildings, in, 19, in the year 1997, we upgraded our buildings to withstand earthquake conditions for way, way 10 years ago. So even our earthquake conditions are up to the maximum. There's nothing beyond a condition uh, code number four for earthquakes. But we've done that already here in Guam. Israel says both Lieutenant Governor Mike Cruz and the Department of Public Works want the legislature to extend the implication of this law. Acting Governor Mike Cruz, in his transmittal letter to the legislature, warned them about the fact that the fire department has to upgrade their regulations because it does not comply with the new law. So he was aware and he already warned the legislature that there must be a lot of upgrading and a lot of revisions on the part of the Guam Fire Department. According to Israel, this new law is illegal since it fails to comply to another existing law, which states before any regulation can be forced, a cost impact study on the community must first be presented for approval by the legislature. Israel feels this new code means every existing home on Guam and future buildings will cost more to build. Our community will be discouraged to build or buy their new home. David Macaluso, PNC News.